Hey. John? There he is. Hi, John. What Good time do I see you? How you doing? We invited John to an activity the Lord had, and John actually told the sister missionaries that he's investigating the church, and we're like, what in the world? We didn't know that. <laughs> but we weren't sure if he was just being nice to Vivian or Sister Rampley, since John is living with him now. And so our initial idea to go in there that night was just to get to know him more. Well, tell us a little about yourself. We know you're from Washington. Uh, yeah, I worked landscaping while I was in Washington. Now I'm searching for a job and trying to save up money for school. I'm kind of a solitary person and meeting people is kind of crazy for me. I've known her for five years and I've seen the kind of community that the church has provided for her and all oh, I've heard stories of how she's prayed and uh, God has helped her out in sticky situations. Very many times. <laughs> so, I don't know, I kinda would like to achieve that as well. You never want to switch it up a bit? Yeah, yeah. we're on uh, exchanges today. Okay. With John not having a deep concern, kinda threw us off a little bit because we're used to these people having such deep problems. He's so prepared and he's ready, and we didn't have to do much. We knew that they were somewhat dating. It's kind of a weird situation. They're living in the house with her parents, but they live in the same room on bunk beds. And so it's kind of a, <laughs> kind of a weird situation, but we were a little bit worried that they you know, might not be living a lot of chastity. Bless us, Father, that we may know what to say to John, and that as we share the law of chastity with him, that he may fill with thy spirit, and that he may uh, want to make that change. This was the make or break lesson. Um, it was the law of chastity. When you prepare for a lesson, and you already know that if there's anything that's going to stop a person from progressing to baptism, it's going to be that lesson, you're going to get nervous. What's new? Uh, did laundry today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Well, my mom said I'm powerless, so. I find it kind of odd how. I, I won't get into that, but I find it kind of odd how he's even living there. Well, um, today we prepared a special lesson for you. We thought a, a lot about you, too, and we prayed a lot about you. And today we're going to need you just to be completely honest with us, just to share with us some of your thoughts. I'll be honest, I was nervous for the lesson, um, just because I, I didn't think they were, but I, I didn't know. You know. I wasn't positive. And Elder Herbert doesn't like to be in like awkward situations where like questions have to be asked and stuff has to be found out, and like he hates it. You know, the Lord has, has established, you know, uh, a standard, so to speak, you know, that we are, that we are to obey. You know, and this, um, this standard that we're going to talk about today is what's called the law of chastity. Okay. Have you heard of that before? Yes. Yes? Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you know about it? Don't have sex until uh -huh. you're married kind of stuff. No uh, looking at porn sites. And then right there he just belts out, you know, three or four things that he already knew about. And I was like, oh, wow, you know a lot already. Why do you think God gives us that commandment, John? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think so, Vivian? It's a gift that he gave us, mm -hmm. and it's something that should be treasured and not abused or misused. It should be used only the way he told us to use it. Exactly, and, and, and that's exactly right. You know, and so by us you know, avoiding those things and keeping a clear, clean mind, clean language, clean thoughts, you know, and trying our best to stay over there, you know, we avoid those heartaches and we, we really live a better life. Mm -hmm. And so... Do you foresee any problems with living the law of chastity, John? It's going to be a little tough. <laughs> Sometimes asking those questions may offend somebody or may not, and we never know. We just got to follow the Spirit as it directs to, to find out what we can teach them. Uh, we, we don't want to get invade your personal life as much, as much as we can, <laughs> but are you, are you living a law of chastity now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Sorry. I know it's We're an not odd pros. situation. <laughs> oh no, we've seen way worse, don't worry. <laughs> We're both moving back to Washington. He's going to college and I'm going to go live with oh. a friend of mine. This is kind of a temporary yeah. Okay. And that's fine. And this is a promise that you know, that God does make that within a relationship, if you choose to to live a, a clean life individually, 
and together that you'll have that strong relationship because it's it's built on the principles of Christ. Oh, we know. Yeah. Yeah. It's something we, we, you frequently talk about. That's yeah. good then. Which is how come you kind of knew all of the rules? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> say, well, you say, wow, that's what I did, John. <laughs> <laughs> something we talk about a lot. Okay. With, withstand those temptations and that peer pressure and stay clean. It's way, way worth it. I will. We asked the right questions and and John's committed to live law of chastity. Though. Even though I was nervous, there great results came from it. I think that he's a he's a choice spirit that's been prepared for the last few years, and it was his time. And so I believe that you know, the Lord led us to him for a reason. That he moved down from Washington to here for a reason, so that he could he could accept the gospel and join the church and and bless his life. It was just very moving, and it. It changed my whole perspective on life almost. I, I never thought something that marvelous and wonderful could happen to me, and then it did. Somebody I loved very dearly was suddenly willing to take part in this amazing thing. When I watched John enter the water, it was, it was quite the moment. It was miraculous just to see how willing he was to obey his Heavenly Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Felt relieved <laughs> and uh, enlightened, and um, I felt uh, more whole. Shake your hand. I very much believe that God and Jesus Christ are real, and um, I look forward to joining them one day. I'm definitely glad that this happened. Well, now I see a future for us, and I've never really seen that before. We've always been kind of friends or off and on dating. There was never a future, and now there is, and that was just the most overwhelming sensation, because he's just the greatest guy.